Hello and welcome to Open Logic. This is System Verilog in 5 minutes. In this video, we'll look into variable sized array. First, let's talk about intent. Let's say we have an LED display design. We can send number to the design and it displays the number. It can display up to 4 digits. If we have more than 1 digit to display, we need to send the digit one by one. Now we want to model this behavior in the test. We need an array for the display data, and we need a counter to indicate how many data we want to send. And finally, we need an execution for loop to send the data. For example, if we want to print 1, 2, 3, the array would hold 1, 2, and 3. The counter would be 3, meaning 3 digits. The problem with this code is the size of the array, which is 4, because that's the maximum the design can support. Let's say we want to send only one digit. The size of the array is still 4, meaning 3 of the elements are unused at that time. In general, this is wasting memory. Variable sized array can resolve this problem. There are three variable sized arrays dynamic array, queue, and associative array. All of these are non synthesizable, they are only used in test bench. For dynamic array, we use square bracket to declare it. When we declare the array, there is no element yet. Elements are created by calling new with a square bracket. The number in the bracket indicates the size. In this example, two elements are created. After that, we can modify the elements one by one. For example, writing 12 to element 0 and 34 to element 1. We can call new over and over again to create a brand new element. In general, the old ones are lost. If you wish to create new elements and copy the old ones over, you can do it like this. If you wish to clear all elements, you can call the delete function. For Q, it is declared by using square bracket and a dollar symbol. Similarly, there is no element at the point of declaration. Q does not use a new function to create elements. It has its own function to manage elements. For example, it has a pushback function which allows you to put element into the queue. First element would be put at index 0, second element would be put at index 1, and so on and so forth. There is also a push front function. It is similar to push back except that it goes in an opposite direction, and it changes the index of previously existing elements. There are functions to remove elements as well. For example, there is a pop front function and there is a pop back function. We can also insert elements at the middle of the array by calling insert function. We specify at which index we want to insert the new element. Similarly, we can delete element at any index by calling the delete function and by providing the index. For associative array, it is declared by using square bracket and a star symbol. It creates element per index. It is more similar to a map than it is an array. For example, you can start by creating an element at index 10. You can create another one at index 100 and another one at index 1000. Note that in this example, there are only 3 elements and not 1000, even though the maximum index is at 1000. You can delete any element by calling delete function with the index. This is a summary of the 3 variable sized arrays. Generally, dynamic array is used for data creation, and queue is used for data sequencing management, and associative array is used for modeling memory. There are pros and cons with each of them. For example, creating a huge dynamic array at once is processor heavy and may slow down simulation. All variable sized arrays have some shared functions in general. In this example, we are using queue. It has 6 values 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3. Calling the size function will return 6, meaning 6 elements. Calling the sum function will return 14, which is adding all the elements value together. The min function will return a queue with only one value 1. That value 1 is the minimum value in the array. Similarly, we can also call max function which returns a queue with only one value 3. There is also a function called unique. It will return a queue with 3 values 1, 2, 3. Basically, it removes all the repeated values. There are many other functions. Please read up the language reference menu to find out more. In summary, variable sized arrays are non synthesizable syntax used to model test bench. Alright, that's it for this time around. Thanks for watching. Do support by clicking like, share, and subscribe.